With or without hair, the CCIE journey continues on. So yes, I do look a little different. I thought it was time for a change with the beard coming out. I decided let's just go wild and cut off all my hair. So we're going to give this a try, but that's not what you're here for. You're here to hear about how the week went and what is really going on in the world around us. So this week was a great week. I got my CCNP on Saturday of last week and I talked about what happened in that CCNP exam and really what were the tools that I used to prep for it on Monday of this week in my video that was all about how I passed the CCNP Encore exam. If you haven't checked it out, I really encourage you to check it out. There were some great tools that really helped catapult me into success. And that was the first speed bump, the first roadblock on my journey to CCIE. It's now out of the way. Now I can focus on those specialist exams and dive deeper into those technologies because that's going to be a big part of the CCIE exam. When I actually talked about the CCIE exam topic breakdowns, I kind of broke down my theory that the Encore exam is all about laying that base foundation but CCIE is all about going past the foundations and all of those different technologies. And that's why they introduced the specialist exams like NRC, like the SD-WAN exam, like automation. So the Encore exam is going to give you an introductory and then some level on those topics. And then you'll have to go into those specialist exams on each one of them in order to get ready for the CCIE. Now I'll take it a step further and say that some topics like the NRC, you're gonna have to go past that for the CCIE exam because they did say the CCIE enterprise infrastructure exam borrowed a lot from CCIE route switch version five. So we know that NRC is going to carry you a lot of the way there, but not all the way there. And you really got to start thinking about design too, because design topics are now the first three hours of the exam. So that design certification, that design specialist is going to matter a lot more. Other things that happen in the world around us, Eve NG version 3.0 was released last night, it is now built on Ubuntu 18. And that is what the Docker images correlate to. Now, too. So for me personally, I'm really interested in using Ubuntu 18 VMs and emulators within my environment. So I immediately upgraded mine and that's now what I can use in my environment. I think that's a pretty cool thing too. Now the big thing that I've been setting up is what am I working on now? And here's the kicker. I can't really talk about that. I am studying. I am making tremendous progress towards the CCIE, but it's all feeding directly into our upcoming course on CBT Nuggets. And I'm keeping that hush hush for a couple weeks until we actually have some content released on the site. Once we have the content released on the site, I'm going to blast it everywhere and say, this is what we've been working on. But just trust me when I say it's going to be really big. We're investing a lot into this course. I have a lot of hardware being shipped to me right now. Things like Catalyst 3850s, Catalyst 3650s, Aeronet 1700 APs, and C1113 ISR routers. I'm going to spend the weekend racking all of this stuff up and getting it with a base level of configurations. So that way, when it comes time to configure these devices, which will hopefully be next week when I start recording, we'll be able to turn those into nuggets, get them released, and then I'll be able to show you and preview what it is that I've been working on. It's going to be so cool, I promise. But that stuff that I am prepping, the stuff that we're buying hardware for and everything, that is all directly correlated to CCIE studies. So I promise you I'm making great progress in some of the key topics, and I'm going to talk about it a lot more in the next couple of weeks. One final thing I'll shout out is that Boson practice exams, they did release the Inarsi practice exam this week. I think that's a big deal too, because between CBT Nuggets and Boson, those were the critical tools that I needed in order to get ready for my Encore exam. So in the coming months, I will be going for the Inarsi exam too, and I'm going to use CBT Nuggets yet again, which I've been very fortunate that I got to watch all of that content get created. And then I'm going to dive into the Inarsi practice exam, and that will hopefully get me set up and ready to rock and roll as I dive in to the Inarsi specialist exam. So that's been the weekly update for me. If you've got any questions, comments, or anything that I can help you with, Make sure you hit the comments below. Let me know what I can do. Or you can tweet me. That's a great way to get at me too. So thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.